Do you want to take a pop quiz? Oh, yeah, sure. Let's do it. I need to take a pop quiz. Are you going to be late because of us? I might be late because of you, but it's a good quiz. Kind of nervous, but I, I, I got this. Do you want to test your knowledge of pioneering women at NYU? Oh, my Always. gosh. Yes. <laughs> These two NYU alums were recently inducted into the National Inventors Hall of Fame for inventing which product? The tampon, the sports bra, or the high heel shoe? I'll let you go first. <laughs> um, the tampon. tampon. No. Nope. The tampon. Sports bra. The sports bra. Yes, oh, that's right. I Wow, I did not know that before. <laughs> this was Hinda Miller and Polly Smith together with their friend Lisa Lindahl, and they literally sewed two jock straps together. Oh my God. <laughs> Hi, Pop Quiz. I'm Hinda Miller, and I'm one of the co founders for Jodra. And yes, indeedy, our first prototype was two jock straps sewn together. We were running in 1977 holding our breasts and say, why isn't there a, a jock strap for women? Thank you, Hinda Miller and Polly Smith. Yes. Thank you. On behalf of all women. We're going to go back in time for a minute. This is Isabel Ebel. She graduated from the engineering program at NYU back in 1934 with a master's degree in what field? Aeronautical engineering, electrical engineering, or chemical engineering? Electrical engineering? Chemical engineering. <laughs> nope. Chemical engineering? Aeronautic. <laughs> yeah, aeronautical engineering. When she graduated, she was the only female aeronautical engineer in the United States. Okay. Oh my goodness. 1934? 1934. You're all law students together? Yes, they are. Yeah. yeah, in the same section. A trailblazing woman graduated from NYU Law back in 1978 and sued the city of New York soon after, and won and paved the way for women to join which of the following? A, the NYPD, which is the police department, B, the FDNY, which is the fire department, or C, the MTA, which is the transit authority? I feel like I want to rule out fire department. Right. Maybe oh, really? NYPD? Are going to keep it? Well, historically, police and fire departments have been all male. I mean, yeah, I feel like not the MTA and yeah. the police. That seems late. I yeah. feel like it's very late for all of these. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Really. Is this costing me like $400 an hour right now? <laughs> Republic interest. interest yeah. <laughs> FDNY. Yeah, okay, I'll go with that. Yeah. Sure. Yes. 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 Fire department? Yes. Yeah. Her name is Brenda Berkman. And she, yeah, she sued the city and the FDNY and won, and they changed the entrance exam. And she and 40 other women became New York City firefighters for the very first time. Right. That's awesome. I caught up with her at Bobst, and she has a little advice for you. Social justice change is a marathon and not a sprint. So try and keep that in mind as you're doing good work out there to make the world a better and more equitable place. Oh, who's that? This is Kathy Yan. So she graduated from both Tisch and Stern just a few years ago. She's an MBA MFA student. And she's the first Asian American woman to do which of the following? Conduct at Carnegie Hall, produce a Broadway musical, or direct a superhero movie? I want to say Carnegie Hall. Superhero movie? Superhero movie. Yes! Woo! Yes. That was loud. <laughs> she seriously directed us. <laughs> yes, she just directed the new DC Comics film, Harley Quinn, Birds oh. of Prey. Aww. That's amazing. Wow. Okay. That wasn't the only dame in Gotham looking for emancipation. <laughs> wow, I know he has a lot of like really historical yeah. women. Yeah, and they're That's making really more, awesome. you know? Yeah. Like right now.